Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So iOS 15 beta 3 and iPad OS 15 beta 3 has been out for few days and I know I'm late guys and I'm so sorry for that but in this video I'm going to talk about some of the details and some of the changes that I'm able to notice in terms of features, in terms of battery life, in terms of performance, geek benches right here. So watch this video till the end because I'm going to share all the details with you I have right now because I've been using my iPad for last 2-3 days with iPad OS 15 beta 3. So if you follow my channel, you know that I have been uploading videos on iPad OS 15 series and I will be uploading in the future as well. So in this video specifically, let's talk about iPad OS 15 beta 3. So the iPad OS 15 beta 3, as you can see from the screenshot that it came around 1.11 gigabytes on my iPad. So it depends on what model you are using. So the update size depends on that. So in this video, let's talk about some of the details because there are some changes in terms of feature as well that I'm going to mention in this video. So without further ado, let's start the video. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy the kind of content that I do create on my channel, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys. Now, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first things first, as you can see, this is an iPad 8 generation. So this is an iPad that I have been using for last 8 to 9 months. So let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section. So as you can see, this is the latest software version. We have iPad OS 15 and the build number is 19A. 5297E. Now I have a screenshot wherein I had the previous you know update details as well. So previously the version details were 19A5281J and from now right now the build number is has changed and it has 19A5297E at the end. Now talking about the you know physical storage and also as you can see before updating the available space was 13.36 GB and after updating as you can see it has increased a little bit which is actually good. It is now 16.48 GB. Now regarding the you know update details as I showed you before as well so it came around 1.11 GB on my iPad 8 generation. So if you are on iPad OS beta 2 it will be probably around this size or if it depends actually if you have just updated to iPad OS so it might come in a different size for you as well so with that being said guys let's now talk about the new features so first things first before talking about the you know battery life I want to talk about something some new features that has been added to iPad OS beta 3 so if you go to the general now at the bottom as you can see it gives you the option to transfer or reset iPad so this option was previously not there only reset iPad was there now Apple is giving you the option to transfer your data so once you click that here you can see prepare for new iPad and you know at the bottom you set reset and erase all content on settings so it will help you to erase the kind of stuff that you have put on your iCloud storage and you want to move your content from this iPad to a newer iPad and this is also available for iOS so this is something new that I found and there also were a couple of new splash screens so let me show you if I open app store so as you can see so it gives me a splash screen and it says in app events and app store widgets safari extension on iOS things like that and also there were a couple of more splash screen as well so in the find my option so if, if I just open this find my application so as you can see that in the items now we have a plus symbol and we can now share our locations so along with adding an air tag and other items now we have share my location option which was previously not there now I'm happy to say that now share my location has been added and there's a plus symbol so this looks like that so apart from that guys I did not find any new feature to be honest because iPad OS 15 3 beta is what it is still we have time to see the iPad OS 15 for public so now let's again go to the settings and let's talk about the battery life so as you can see the from the battery life and the battery screen itself I haven't used my iPad so much but I can tell you the whatever I was getting on iPad OS 15 beta 2 the battery life is a bit better because I could say in terms of you know standby time so probably previously you know when it was on iPad OS beta 2 within two to three days I was losing battery percentage of let's say around 25 to 30 percent but that's not the 
the case anymore so you know in terms of battery as well i would say ipad os 15 beta 3 is actually good in terms of battery life so give me some more time i will come up with a follow-up review and if i find any more new features on this ipad os 15 beta 3 so let me know if you are using ipad and which model you have and which model uh, you are planning to buy probably and if you have updated your ipad to ipad os 15 beta 3 because you know these are the simple changes that i have mentioned there are many more nifty little changes probably and also many of you guys were interested in geekbench so i was just running the geekbench as you can see so it is running currently and i will show you the previous score and what is the score that you know how we are getting after updating to ipad os 15 beta 3 so let's just wait for some time so as you can see on the video itself i'm just running the benchmark so we'll get to see you know what is the score and we'll compare that score to the previously when my ipad was running on ipad os 15 beta 2 so let's just wait for this benchmark to finish so guys as you can see the score is in front of you the single core score is 1113 and the multi core score is 1735 so that's the score we are getting on ipad os 15 beta 3 let's now compare with the previous score so as you can see previously it was done a month back so that time the score was 1117 and multi core score was 2605 so the scores are pretty less but i don't see a performance gap or performance difference in between the ipad os 15 beta 3 3 or ipad os 15 beta 2 the performance is very fluid as it looks like as we are running on the stable software itself as you can see there is no lag whatsoever that we are able to see on this ipad os 15 beta 3 but uh, you know i will circle back to you um, again running the geekbench test probably because i have just updated it a couple of days back and haven't used the ipad that much so probably it takes a little bit of time let me use the ipad more and i'll circle back to you with the latest geekbench score update so then again i hope this was it for this video there were many splash screen that i was able to see new with the applications new with reminders new with other applications and also in terms of battery life as i said i have been using it for last two three days and it's better than ipad os 15 beta 2 so i hope you overall enjoyed this ipad os 15 beta 3 what's new and the update video on my ipad 8 generation do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because many more videos like this are coming up on the channel now with that being said i will see you on the next video Bye bye